Hi, I'm Rebecca Brightly, and today's Lindy Hop step is called the Lock Turn. It's a solo move. It is hard. You will need to practice a lot. But if you stick with me and you keep working on it and do it as many repetitions as I tell you to do, it's a high number, by the way, you will get it by the end. The basic concept behind the lock turn is using your legs to lock up and you use that power to unwind your body and turn. So the difficult part is hitting the right position where you're properly coil up, still balanced, have your weight in the right place, and looking not ridiculous. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to have you turn your legs out. Now I'm going to have you shuffle 45 degrees to your left. So you're not totally facing the computer screen, you're just like slightly off to the side. And then with your right leg, I want you to sneak it in front of the left leg and sneak the left leg behind the right leg. I had to check. So I'm doing it mirrored to you. I'm like, which one is which in my head? Anyways, this is your right leg, this is your left leg behind. So you see how my feet aren't actually completely uh, straight anymore? They're both turned out. This is super important. The back of the front knee is touching the front of the back knee. So they are locked up like that. So the further you get your feet apart, the cooler it's going to look. Right now, you might still be facing 45 degrees to get even more wound up. Just try facing forward a little bit. Step two. So we need to go from this position where I'm facing forward to this position where I'm locked up and ready to turn fast. We need to jump to get into it. And actually, I'm going to do the slow-mo version without any computer uh, help. I'm just going to do it in the air by myself. Check that out. I am so good at just jumping up in the air in slow-mo. Okay, so when I go to unwind, I'm going to do this super slowly. I'm picking a foot to center my weight around. And I'm picking the back foot. So if I do this super slowly, I slowly shift my weight back onto this foot and then draw that foot to it, except I do it considerably faster than that. And your feet, the weight on this uh, back foot, it can be either on the ball of the foot or on the heel or kind of in the middle of the foot, it doesn't matter. What you don't want to do is keep the feet in place because you, then you only get that far. So what are the counts for the lock turn? Let's just say that this lock thing, where you jump into that lock position, happens on five. Five out of eight. Six, seven, and eight are the unwinding. So if I go one, two, three, four, I jump on five, six, seven, eight. Preferably a little faster than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want to tag on a couple extra beats. Uh, one, two, three, four. Lock on five, as we discussed. A one, two, three, four. It'd be nice to do something there because dancers like to count in eights. So here's my simple explanation for what to do. This is going to be really fast. You're going to take your right leg, sweep it in front. One, two, three, four. Right, left. Three, four. That's two distinct set steps. So we'll try that again. One, two, three, four. And then we jump. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you'll want to practice the whole thing about a hundred times. I'm not kidding about that. I've probably done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lock turns trying to get it right and, you know, at least 500 today just trying to figure out how I wanted to teach it. Uh, so check out the demos, uh, check out all the steps many times in a row and don't be satisfied with good enough, you know? Everyone dances just good enough and it feels safe and secure to be just good enough, but what if you can really rock it just a little bit more? That's where the excitement is, so try it a ton of times. 
All right, so if you're not dizzy by the end of all that, I'm telling you, you didn't do something right. So I hope that you're falling over trying to contain yourself with by how dizzy you are. But if you're not, and you still have a little bit of strength and wit about you, please press the like button underneath the video. If you totally loved the video and you want to see more of this, go to my website, rebeccabrightly.com slash hell yes, and I have a free surprise for you there, something completely different. Just face 45 degrees to the right. Left leg here in front. Oh, mother freaking, go the wrong direction. Oh, I'm throwing.